Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and we are here with the top two in class foldable FDA approved medical mobility chairs for rough terrain driving. We are going to be doing some rough terrain driving with the Electra 7 power folding wheelchair and the Falcon power folding wheelchair. Let's go ahead and get these chairs unfolded. And we can see now both of these chairs without the battery, they weigh just 50 pounds. They both hold up to 400 pounds, 58 pounds with the batteries, coveted in-frame batteries. And let's go ahead and see how simple that is to unfold. Great opportunity to visit us online. Pause the video for a moment, quickandmobile.com. No need to go anywhere else. No need to search Google. No need to search Bing. Just visit us directly online, quickandmobile.com. We're going to go over grass. We're going to go over a curb. We're going to go over a construction site. Now, both of these chairs are identical, except for two differences. From the factory, this Electra 7 has 21 inches of space in between the armrest with the optional spacer kit. You can go up to 24 inches. The Falcon has 18 and a half inches of space in between the armrest. With the optional spacer kit, you can go up to 22 inches of space. And the Falcon, as we're going to demonstrate, has an infinite reclining mechanism. It's an ergonomic recliner. You can use a headrest with this chair. You can use a leg extension kit. Two powerful 250 watt motors, flat free tires. Look at the tread on those. And without further hesitation, let's go. So what we're gonna do is the Electra 7 is going to lead the way in this course. We're going to swap off the phones a couple times. And we have a, we have a pretty tough track here, a pretty tough test. So let's figure out what we can do. So we're gonna go actually on the grass over here first. And so we're gonna kinda, there we go. We're gonna get off the uh, sidewalk and get onto the grass pretty much straight away. And we can see that the grass, it's pretty rough. I mean, take a look at that. I mean, this chair is handling it no problem. That chair is handling it no problem at all. We've got difficult terrain and we're gonna go up to a curb. Why is this the top two? Could you do this in a, in a chair with tiny little wheels? I don't think so. I don't think you could. Would you want to? Would you want to go in a construction site with a motorized wheelchair that you can get a flat tire? No, I don't believe you would. Look at this. Very uneven. I've got sticks. I've got branches. Okay, now we're going to go down a curb here. Let's take a look at wow, down a curb. Okay, no problem. Now we're gonna stop and we're basically gonna show a different perspective of that. So I'm gonna swap the uh, camera off and we're going to, look at that. That chair just turns on a dime. So easy, so simple to maneuver. And I'm gonna go down the same curb. So we're just gonna swap this. We're gonna take a look at the curb. We're gonna take a look at the chair and we'll get that flipped around. The horn works wonderfully. Let's take a look at this from a complete stop. I mean, look at this debris all over the place does this quick and mobile chair have what it takes look at that i think it does i think i aced that one okay let's let's take a look here now before we go i'm going to kind of get a closer look look at that we're going through construction zone and we're actually going to go past that fence that's up there okay let's let's go let's see what it can do so I'm gonna take a look and I'm gonna follow the Electra 7 and the Falcon close behind. We're gonna basically take a look. I mean, this is exciting just to be outside and, and feeling that I can do things, feeling that obstacles are not gonna stop me, feeling that I can go places. We're in a sandy area. We're basically, well, we are in a construction site. Oh, look at that. Going full-fledged in a construction zone, in a construction site. Now, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lead and I'm going to go actually past this fence. I'm gonna stop for a second. And as you're viewing this, take a look here. What do you think? Would you wanna do this? I mean, this is kind of a hill. This is, it's a construction zone. It's where I'm going in this chair. I am going in a construction zone. And then the Electra 7 is gonna follow. I'm gonna turn around. If I can pull this off, I'm gonna turn around. I see that there's some tracks here. So let's take a look here. I mean, I've got the, the joystick and Look at that. Now, I'm gonna come up here a little bit and I, I wanna be fair. I wanna be giving a good look here. 
So let's go ahead and take a look. This chair come right in. And how simple is that? Now, once again, I just want to show really what we can do here. So I'm going to go ahead and swap off the camera again. And I mean, we're in the middle of a construction zone. So I'm going to sh you're going to see me getting out of this. And then I'm going to show you the front view, this Electra 7 getting out of it. So I just have to be mindful, but I'm not worried because I've got two 250 watt motors. And that's pretty simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and just reverse this chair. I'll come and get the phone and the camera here. And we're going to watch this chair so easily come out so unique that we can just take a look really at both of these chairs look at that look at that so easy so simple so again now we're going to go ahead and kind of cruise back here we're going to go back through the construction site it's just fun being outside it's fun being out when the weather's warm it's liberating being outside when the weather's cool it's freeing knowing that I have the ability just to make a decision to get behind a powerful medical mobility device, one that I can fold right up and put in the trunk of a vehicle. And I'll show you that too. That's why this is top two. Top two chairs right here in this class. They both hold up to 400 pounds, both 18 to 22 mile average range. You've got the Dura shocks in the back of that chair. The frame is built to absorb energy and these things cook. I mean, we're out here. I, I feel wind. I feel freedom. I feel that I can move. I feel a sense of mobility. And I know that that's what so many people who have compromised mobility want more than anything else is to feel mobile again. Now let's take a look at this. Now we're going to stop for a second. I just want to zoom in on this curb and just show you the curb. Take a look at that curb. Let's see, can we go up the curb? Is this something that we can do? Let's take a look. Let's go up the curb. So we're going to see the chair real easy go up the curb. And then you'll see the, look at that. And she even took that curb on a sideways angle. She didn't even hit that curb straight on. It was no problem. So she's just going to go ahead and grab the phone one last time. And I mean, look at how easy that chair moves. Look how easy that chair maneuvers. We're going to hand off the phone and this one's going to come up the curb. I'm going to kind of swing around and I'm going to basically